G'day gang, Danny, how you going? We're back in Azeroth and we're back in the World of Warcraft on the Human Paladin Traxius. As we continue our little walkthrough here, uh, let's have a chat to William Pezzle. Hello. Hello, good sir, do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the open mines. The Fargo Deep Mine to the south and the Jasper Lode Mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. Have a good one. Alright, you have a good one too, fella. Uh, we've got Duggan over here that wanted to have a talk to us. Greetings. Uh, Fargo, the Fargo Deep Mine. The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire, between the Stonefield and McClure homesteads. Uh, alright, so let's go, let's go down south Welcome first. And deal with that. Remy? How are you? The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it and I'll give you the best price in town. Best price in town! You can find kobolds in the Fargo Deep Mine to the south and around the Jasper Lode Mine to the north. -y. Safe travel. Well, that looks like we've got a fair few quests that are going to take us to that mine. Uh, we'll go and do that and then we'll come back and I guess we've got more quests over here. Uh, 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 not walk into a torch. I've just opened up my bars a little bit, so I've gone into my interface and then to the action bars and I've selected the bottom left, the bottom right, the right bar. So if you look over here, I could place more uh, spells and skills over there if I wanted to. And right now, this is like more than enough, but at some point, I might want to utilize that. I can see some kobolds over there, so let's get over there. Give this guy a little judgment. Get some cloth. Also starts making me think about professions and what I might want to try. Being a paladino. I don't know. I guess there's a few that could work. But if I wanted to make armor, I might want to be a blacksmith. And also make a few weapons too. But to pair it together with something that I would actually be able to utilize is uh, mining, I guess. In, in that I would mine, I would get the minerals. Then to be able to turn those minerals into items I could use to blacksmith, fashion into armor. Alternatively, and another one that always comes in handy is alchemy and herbalism. Go out there and make some potions, which could aid me while I'm questing. You also could try, I guess tailoring would be okay. You could make bags and maybe a cloak. Could pair that up with enchanting, disenchant items, create enchantments to give myself buffs, permanent buffs to my armor. Lately, I've been sort of going down the path of alchemy and herbalism, at least in classic. There is also leather working and skinning, but I don't know, I don't know if I will find much use for that. Being able to craft your own bags could help, particularly now I've got a, I've got a six slot bag there. In this grape picking sack. I'll have to look at that. 
What kind of what kind of professions did you end up going with? Either on a paladin or a warrior. Or even a death knight. Alright, we're getting those candles and we're getting that gold dust. I need one more candle. Forty XP. Need three more gold dust. It's one. Traveling through there. Oh, there's some more right there. Traveling through these mines, though. Wonder if I'll come across a chest. Find myself a sneaky chest around here. Come on, give me that gold dust. Give us that gold dust. And give us a level two. Ah, oh, there we go, consecration. So Consecration consecrates the land beneath you, causing 13 holy damage over 12 seconds to enemies who enter at a limit of 1. So I can throw that down. Bit of an AoE, bring in enemies and I'll take damage as they stand in it. And you can also see the timer up there, how long it's going to last. And then you could just refresh it if you wanted to. Doesn't really help if I walk out of it immediately though. Now I just want to go up here and have a look around, see if there's a chest over there. See some ore at the back. Let's do some damage to both of these. No chest, no chest. No? Okay. Can hear somebody fighting upstairs or up top. Alright, let's use our Hearthstone and get out of here real quick. Take us back to the Lion Pride Inn. Before, rather than having to walk back or having to deal with respawn. Nice quick way to get back to Willy. Big old Willy. Did you gather those candles yet? You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for See the candles. You are you alright there, Will? You, you okay? Are you? Can we continue talking? Good day to you. Ah, here's your reward. You seem like the helpful type, Artraxius. How about doing an old man a favor? The last time I was over at the McClure Vineyards, I overheard Mabel crying in her cottage. Would you be so kind as to go check up on her? I'm a little worried. Have a good one. Alright. Well, let's go over there then. First I'll go over here though. Have Looking a chat for something specific? for that guy. Hit my sell junk button. See you around. We'll replace this. We'll replace that. Seeing as that is now slightly better in terms what of armor. Do for you? And then I'll sell these two bits and pieces. And that too, and get rid of our old shield. See you later. While I'm here though, I might as well have a chat to this guy who is the cooking what can trainer. I do for you? Teach us how to do cooking for ten hopper. These are secondary professions that everybody can do. You've got cooking, archaeology, uh, fishing. So let's go and learn how to make spice bread. Little spice bread. What can I do for you? So if I press P, bring up my spell book, look under professions. We've got cookie right here, and we've got cooking fire. Be careful. And under that, I've got spice bread. So if I wanted to, I think I could well talk met. to or the alliance. Hello. Neither of these guys. What about you? I'd be with you. Yeah, trade's good, on, good. Good day to you. Trade goods. Can I help you? See you around. 
Well, there is somebody around here, maybe outside, that would be able to teach me. Actually, maybe upstairs. Let's have a look upstairs. Do I need a blindfold before I go up there? No. So we've got a mage trainer up here. Bandage trainer. Priest trainer. Rogue trainer. And that's about it. Okay. Maybe outside. I'll have a look out there. We also got to hand in these other two quests. Oh, there's trade supplies. Okay. So I hand this in first. Oh, this is bad news. What's next? Dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, Artrexius. And hold a moment. I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we know that Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode Mine. Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, you head north and you'll find the mine in the foothills. Be careful. Okay, what about this? If you are concerned about the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. I have here a Stormwind Charger that will take you to Guard Thomas. Let me know if you wish to make use of the horse. Or the Alliance. Alright, I might take you up on that. First I want to go and have a chat to these people though. You need something? Remy. You have that uh, gold dust for me? For me? Thanks for the dust, Artraxius. Here's your cash, and here is a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Useful. Have a good one. Oh, Remy, you have a good one. Greetings. Okay, so trade supplies, here we go. So if I get five of those and five of these, and if I have a look at my cooking panel, you can see down below, uh, spice bread, I can train that up. So I can make a little cooking fire here, if there wasn't one around here already no let's just do it right in the middle of the road nobody will mind and uh we'll cook up five of these five spice breads and five uh spice breads <laughs> and you can see the uh the cooking will go up i have a look over here under unlearned i wonder if it'll show me stuff that i can possibly learn once i minimize all these of course under old world That requires level 50, level 20, level 20. Okay, so maybe we've got to get to level 20 before I can learn any of these things. Which shouldn't be too difficult to do if I just grab... 15? 20? Let's go 20. Cook up a whole bunch of that stuff. Go with honor, friend. Should get us to the next bit. What's with that face, mate? That's sus up. Look at the sus eye there. What's going on? I'll bring up this again. Although it says the cost is two gold. That seems like a lot for level. Oh, that actually requires you to be level 20. Right, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, okay. So something like spice wolf meat. Okay, so that requires cooking level 10. And can be learnt from the profession trainer. Okay, so after that, after we make all this, now that we're at level 26, I think it was. Level 26, we should be able to learn some more things. Hey there. This guy's a profession trainer. And he's going to teach me about the different primary production. Okay. So like I said, I was, I was trying to think about what I should actually make. Um, we could do blacksmithing. But I think something more on the fly, like inscription, might be good. Because I could do... What's inscription? Let's have a look here. Inscription allows you to create magical scrolls, glyphs, offhand tomes, dark moon cards, and even recipes for other professions. Many raw materials for inscription come from milling herbs. So the two professions pair well, right? See you around. And production. Uh, we've got jewel crafting, leather working, tailoring. That's a tough one. I gotta, I gotta plan to think about this for a little bit longer. Have a good one. 
But being able to gather, say, maybe like picking flowers would be a bit easier than anything else. Alright, I'll just leave it. I'll leave that one for a little bit. I'll come back to those guys. For now, I want to go see the cooking train and see if he's got anything else to teach us. Return to the guy at the back. What have you got, fella? How are you? He's going to teach us how to do some Kaldorai spider kebabs. Yummy. Some spice wolf meat. Fantastic. And apparently cataclysm cooking. Which doesn't seem like this would be the time to learn that, but I'll take it anyway. Okay. This requires level 30. Dark brew lager. So I wonder why it's showing up now. Can I even make that though? Cataclysm cooking? I don't think so. Alright, I'll just that? stick with what I got and walk out. Nod and smile. Alright, now we'll go talk to Marshall Duggan. Because I believe it's the quest out there. Okay. Well met. Light bless you. Hop on a Stormwind Charger. It's taken us. It's taken us that way. And we're just hanging on for dear life. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really trying to think whether I would want to be in it. I think enchanting would be good because I can do that on the fly. I did pick up some some linen cloth earlier on. So, I mean, we could possibly. That might be something that I'll just acquire as I'm questing. And, I mean, I could... I am probably will be fine with my gear. As I'm questing along, I'll probably get enough gear. So, I, I guess it would be... I'd be able to make a cloak once in a while. I'll be able to make some bags. And I'll be able to disenchant items that I don't need that are green and above. I believe... I don't think you can disenchant white items. So, it'll be anything that's green and above. I'll be able to get little bits and pieces, then I'll be able to enchant and enhance my gear. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that'll help me out. The tailoring, not as much, but I mean, the bags, the bags would be okay as we're going along. I guess I'm just trying to think of things that aren't going to take us out too far and we're also going to, going to be mining all the time and all that sort of stuff. Get caught up doing this, this sort of thing. But, you know, if it's your character i i would probably recommend something along those lines like maybe the first time anyway mining and blacksmithing would be good crafting up your own stuff <laughs> maybe a little time consuming perhaps it could be beneficial at the end need help ah yes murlocs have settled in and around the streams of Est eastern elwyn we don't know why they are here but they are aggressive and at least semi-intelligent. A few days ago, we sent two guards, Rolf and Malachi, to investigate along the river, and they have not yet returned. To complete my report, I must know what happened to those men. Travel north along the river and find the guards or their remains. Okay. What's this one? Ah, uh, hey, Atraxius. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Goldshire. And the East Vale logging camp suffers nearly a constant attacks from wolves and bears. We could use your help out here. Kill eight prowlers. Okay. For the Alliance. And we got a call to Westfall. There's also a bounty on Murlocs. Ah, oh, the Stormwind Army has placed a bounty on Murloc lurkers and foragers in Elwyn. Slaughter them and break guard Thomas their torn Murloc fins. And the Stormwind Army will reward you well. The Murlocs have built a village at Stone Cairn Lake, north of here, and another to the south where the stream forks. By decree of the Stormwind Army, a bounty has been placed on the head of James Clark. Clark is wanted for robbery, burglary, arson, and murder. He is also a suspect in the kidnapping and disappearance of the Brackwell's prize pig princess. James Clark was last seen heading towards East Vale logging camp, Bring James Clark to justice and report to Marshal Patterson at East Vale Logging Camp. Right. Get some heads and bring them to the people. Kill the dudes. Get some fins. All that sort of stuff. Okay, so we got to go here find the Floss Guards first. And then we have also got Jasper Load Mine. Uh, we got a lot of things to do. We got a fair few things to do. So let's focus on down. <laughs> 
Let's try and find these people first, the dead bodies. We also gotta get these prowlers. Oh, just, there's quest objectives everywhere, really. Don't, don't stand in there. Don't stand in there. Oh, silly cow. Why did you do that? Don't stand in the consecration. Stay well away from the consecration. Okay, so we got a scalping tomahawk. Uh, does one to two damage, 0. 0.6 damage per second. Same as that, but it's got an extra. It's got a little stat down there, plus one stamina. So I'll definitely equip that. Absolutely. So you can see when I pop on the Militia Hammer, my HP drops a little bit, so stamina affects that. That's good to get a little more HP. Increase our survivability by a little bit. Now we also picked up some stringy wolf meat so we can cook up spice wolf meat. And gain one stamina for 15 minutes. So while I'm out here, why not? Why not cook it up? Cook up that wolf right in front of these wolves. Uh, these ones don't give me any stat bonuses, but these ones do, so I'll cook these ones. I'll pop them on my bar so I can see them. I'll eat them right here. Let's see, we got the food. Uh, it's restoring our HP. But after 10 seconds, you'll see the stamina buff pop up there. So we're well fed and that's increased our stamina even more. Might as well get this done. Wonder how many we can get together. Bring them over here. Keep an eye on our HP. Stun this one here. Well, I take care of that one. Nice. That is not as good as what we got. So I won't replace my shield just yet. Now, it's good that we're actually picking up these things along the way. Uh, it certainly helps me to keep some of these professions leveled up. Uh, probably one that I won't do is fishing. But that, as you can imagine, would be down by a lake, fishing up a thousand fish, or however many you want, really. Uh, but there are some, definitely some fish, fish recipes you can cook up. So it can be worthwhile doing. Ordinarily, I would do that, but I don't know if you'll want to see a, a 30 minute episode of me simply just fishing and missing fish. I might do it. I'll pick it up though, and I'll show you how it's done, just in case you're curious. All right. Although much has been stripped from this corpse, strewn nearby is a medallion with the words Footman Malachi Stone etched upon it. Upon further searching the area, you find webbed footprints leading east along the shore to Stone Can Lake. In the distance to the east, you can barely see a Murloc village. Perhaps Rolf's fate ended there. To the east, well, the marker's over there now. It has updated. we still got to collect or take out five young forest bears. But I believe we might be able to do that in that area as well. But either way, we need to come back to go back to that mine. Right, so we got some lurkers nearby. 148 yards this way. That's that murloc fin that we need to collect at the same time, so that's all good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Murlocs everywhere! Try to go for the lower HP murloc first. Done and done. 
restore our HP with a little heal. Now bear in mind I am playing retail, well, if this was classic, you'd have to be a lot more reserved in how you approach this. Because one of these Murlocs will do some damage, two, could be getting a little tricky, three, you might be in trouble. Level seven. You can now use Holy Power. Your Crusader Strike generates Holy Power. And your Word of Glory can spend it. Okay. Didn't I already have that? Is that, why is that something new? Or does it now generate and before it wasn't generating? Didn't actually take notice of that. Okay. So Holy Power is a oh, Word of Glory rather. Calls down the light to heal a friendly target for 101. Okay. Whereas this one is a flash of light. It heals for 65. 1.5 second cast time. But this one relies on generating holy power. Okay. So we got like another heal for us. Which is nice. So if we get three. Three together. Got two at the moment. I should get it now. Now this is activated. Or is available to be activated. Uh, which I've just lost now. But I'll get one. And then I'll use it so you can see. There you go. So it's kind of handy. I mean, this one's a cast, so you can see the cast bar. But this one's instant. So depending on the situation, this thing could come in really handy. Okay, we also picked up another scalping tomahawk. Alright, that's two. I guess I could keep that, actually. I could disenchant that. If I go back and become an enchanter. Which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that. You find around the neck of the corpse a metal medallion inscribing the words Footman Rolf Hartford. Now that you have both medallions, deliver them to guard Thomas at the bridge so that he might know the fate of his murdered guards. See the sword there and the helmet. Alright, so we'll do that. Oh, uh, there's some more forest bears that we could go over there, but there were heaps over here, I'm sure. I'm gonna stun that guy and keep on running. Oh, uh, there's also James Clark's head, which we might... Actually, we'll do that, because it's just over here, then we'll make a round trip and come back. So over there in that that house over there, that home looks a killer. James Clark, justice is here. <laughs> Now we just rip off his head, as you do. Ugh. Just tear it off. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, the collector. This note is a schedule with a list of days and times when a person described only as the collector will receive a shipment of gold from the mines in Elwyn Forest. From the schedule, it looks as if the collector resides near the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch in Eastern Elwyn. This sounds important. You should report it to Marshal Patterson at Eastvale Logging Camp who is just over here. 
Uh, there's also the fly path here, so we'll go and collect that. Light be with you. Turning in a bounty, and justice is served. What? We haven't had our people working in the Owen Mines for months. Let me see that note you have. Below is a process and schedule of gold collection from the mines of Elwyn. Collection schedule, Sunday, 12.30pm, Wednesday, 12.30pm. By each specified day, gold gained from the Elwyn mine will be gathered at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. The agent in charge of these gatherings, the Collector, will be known by the engraved ring he possesses. Greetings. Hmm, I have heard of this Collector, but I don't know whom he's working for. Thank you for the schedule. It will help us solve this mystery. If the Collector is taking gold from our mines, then he's stealing from the Kingdom. Bring the Collector to justice, and bring me the ring mentioned in the pickup schedule you gave me. It may tell us whom the Collector is working for. That pickup schedule says the Collector is hiding out at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. You should search for him there. Go with honor, friend. Be careful. What? 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 No one else available. What is it? What is it? Greetings. A bundle of trouble? Okay. All right, before we do that, let's Safe go travels. Let's go to our quest done for this place. So we're going to get those young bears taken out and then we'll return. Otherwise, we'll keep on getting quests and it'll take us further further away from where we need to go. It's very easy to do. Very easy to do. As Remy two times would say. So I can see one immediately in front of me. Place a skull icon on him so I can Keep an eye on where his position is. See if there's any others around. Let's see wolves about. Right, let's just take this one out. I might actually head back over the water. Get some bear meat. Because I did see a lot more over there, I believe. But no, hang on, let me have a look. Let me have a look over here. Wolves. Wolves, more wolves. A wolf attacking a squirrel. Eh, nothing but wolves, okay. I guess we will go back this way. Yeah, it does say that there's bears around here, but... Unless they share the same spawn point as wolves. Sometimes it's hard to recollect because in um, classic can be a little different. But I always remember a lot of bears around here. Anyway, there's one right in front of us. After that, we'll need two more. Stun that one while I work on the bear. Uh, also, folks, while I'm going through this, if you have any questions or you have any information that you can add, uh, please feel free to do so. If it's not going to benefit me, you know, I'm sure there's somebody who is watching, my, it might benefit them. Or it might be a little bit of a tidbit, little tidbit that uh, I haven't quite seen or found out before and might be interesting to read. Alright, there's another bear over there. I also have this skull set to my uh, shift W, so I can easily pop a skull on. It sometimes helps when you're uh, when you're in a group situation. If you're in a party, skull usually means focus on that target, or that's target number one. So, for example, if I'm telling the party we need to get this one first, you know that hopefully is a signifier. Most of the time, it's universal that. The skull means go for that one. X is typically what you would put on as a secondary target. Oop. 
Probably got a fair bit of meat now. Should be able to cook up a fair bit of buff food for us. Now, there's also something that you can do to help find these bears when you can't visually see them. You can actually type in the chat slash TAR for target and then what you're looking for. So young forest, you can just type a little bit of it and then it'll target one. Now, where is it exactly? Over there. But if I didn't know that, I could just then press shift W, put the skull on it and then just spin around until I see a skull, which I can right now. So that can help you sometimes. Also, sometimes you're looking for a name target. You know, there's, there's trees everywhere. It can be a little bit difficult to find. I'm sure there's also add-ons that can help you with that. But that's the way I do it. And that gives us our five bears. Right. So, we can cook up ten. Ten wolf meat. Should give us all the buffs we need for a while. Let's hand in a guard, Thomas. What can I do for you? Hello, Artraxius. Have you discovered the fates of Rolf and Malachi? You have confirmed my fears, Artraxius. The Murlocs are a threat we cannot ignore. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a marker. Here, that is a good for one piece of armor. I want you to take it to Sarah Timberlane at the East Vale Logging Camp. Give her the marker and she will fashion the armor for you. And after you receive it, Artraxius, use it in the defense of Elwyn. East Vale is just east of this post across the bridge. Thanks a lot for your help, Artraxius. Something in the forest must be making these animals so bold. Whatever it is, I hope it stays there. How goes the hunting, Artraxius? Ah, oh, you had the fins. Great. Marshal Duggan is anxious about the Murloc situation in Eastern Elwyn, and I'd like to tell him that it's becoming under control. Your actions have helped realize that. Okay, so we can get one of these items, um, but we might need to free up some space. So I'll just get rid of something that isn't really worth that much. Uh, maybe this is worth 12 copper. Here we go. Get rid of that. And then we'll make a selection. I guess we'll end up going for the solid metal club. Uh, oh no, actually this one right here. So it does 1.0 damage. And it's got plus one strength, which is what we like. We do like strength as a paladin. And stamina. So that'll easily replace our scalping tomahawk. 